Are you Seth in the flesh? You must be the freelancer Tassin hired. <laughs> you actually look capable. Are you expecting otherwise? No? Well, sort of. I'm used to getting scraps, not resources. I thought Corvus would have plenty to go around. Oh, they do. But I'm in the proverbial doghouse. Long story short, I pissed off the wrong people and ended up in this shithole. At first glance, Fort Tarsus may not seem like much, but... It's a shithole. The bar doesn't even have a name. I used to, but... I know the story. All the stories. Let's just talk about the job. Corvus has received reports of Scars ambushing supply caravans. Pretty standard. Except they were using some new acidic weapon. Extremely potent, not the usual Scar fare. Scars are scavengers. They must have gotten the acid from somewhere. Great minds. I had a scout follow a trail of the gunk to a possible source. Your cipher has the coordinates. Possible location, that's all I have to go on. Didn't realize you wanted me to go easy on you. Look, I did the leg work. Now it's your turn to do the heavy lifting. <laughs> and if this lead turns out to be a dead end? You'll still get compensated. I'll even throw in a drink for your efforts. Speaking of which, mine's getting warm. Call me when you're on your way. So, what are you after today? Matthias Sumner. Is he really banned from the bar? That arcanist? Oh yeah. Technically, he's not allowed within half a click, but the fort's not that big. Half a click? He didn't mention that. What happened exactly? He's sitting over there with a bunch of brains. They had about five rounds of silver, no sign of drying up. They start arguing about some nonsense. I don't know what God said, but Matthias throws a drink at one guy. Then Genius Boy stands up on the table, shouts, do the math or shove off, and flings himself at the guy. Smashed the hell out of the table, tried to stab a guy with a busted chair leg. I had to call the Sentinels. Huh, I guess he really likes math. Yeah, that makes it all better. Anyways, everything going all right around here lately? No curses or anything? Doesn't work like that. Guy before Dusty, Zeno something, took over, changed the name to the Black Emporium, two months later, hit by lightning, inside the fort. Sentinels found him fried to a crisp and fused to his chair in the back room. Glitch crap just happens. You don't hear about it beforehand. Why are you sticking around? You could ditch this place and be safe. That plan didn't work so well for Dusty. Besides, this is the only spot to get a drink between Antium and glitching Allheim. It's worth nearly as much as the city of Helios. I'm not giving that up for a scary story. You straight up.
Hey, you're a freelancer, right? I've heard things about you. What kind of things? Some of the Arcanists said you stopped a cataclysm. Or a giant Ursix? Or both? No, it's me, yeah. It was uh, kind of both. Interesting. You're one to watch. I don't want to say too much just yet, but be mindful. A lot of eyes will be on you soon. What does that mean? It means this is the time to show what you're made of. You've got a contract for me. I'm happy to hear it. Not a contract, exactly. Have you ever heard of the path to glory? It's like a ranking of Lancers, right? That's not all it is. There are certain rewards offered to those on the path. Rewards offered by who, exactly? The Emperor. Put yourself on the path, Freelancer. What you do will matter, I promise. Well, hello again. How are you, Chronicler? I hear you've been rescuing Arcanists. For all their study, Arcanists have a remarkable lack of common sense, don't you think? Oh, well, anything for research, right? Yes, put one's head into the mouth of an Ursix. For research. Well done. Still, they know more than I ever will. Well, that's up to you now, isn't it? Well, I do like keeping up with the news. That's the spirit. Or is it a hint? You mean, did I come here to hit you up for reading materials? Hit me up, Gracious. Do you mean ask me? Isn't that what I said? Did you even read it? Well, I actually haven't yet. Then just say you haven't read it. No need to lie about it. I'll keep that in mind. Indeed. As my mentor and royal cousin, Negandel, used to say, a genuine sign of true honor is complete honesty. But most freelancers aren't really concerned with honor, so... I'd appreciate it if you'd stop insulting freelancers. I'm merely stating what everyone knows. No, you're spreading stereotypes. And they're wrong. I'm the chronicler. I see as far as the wyvern flies. I'm never wrong. You're wrong about this. What do you have against freelancers? That's none of your business. Did something happen? Nothing happened, never mind. This conversation is over. Good day. Always test the load before lifting. Is that so hard to remember? Thank you. For what? For stepping close so you don't impede foot traffic. You were off to the side, so it seemed to make sense. My apologies. I assumed you would recognize me from one of my public safety forums. Sorry, I was not aware those were happening. My name is Pernal Blatch, and I'm the Fort Custodian. I maintain and improve all public works and spaces. Sounds like a big job. It's enormous. I'm seeking public input on an initiative to improve life in Fort Tarsus. Would you care to take part? My might. Excellent. Please answer the following questions. Do you A, believe the fort needs immediate improvements to function more efficiently? Or B, recognize the fort has glaring inefficiencies that must be corrected. Aren't those statements both the same? No. One suggests immediate action, and the other identifies issues, then proposes solutions. I'm not sure the fort wants to change. The fort must change. It's unsafe in so many ways. Take the walking issue, for example. Did you say walking? Yes. People walk and stop wherever they please. This causes stoppages, bumping, and even pedestrian rage. I'm proposing... I guess it would make walking here more efficient. It will. It's just a matter of applying rewards and punishments to ensure compliance. There will be some resistance, but I've run into that before. Where at? The fountain in the courtyard. People said we didn't need it, but now I'm spearheading the campaign to restore it. How does a fountain make the fort more efficient? 
The fountain creates a meeting place and instills pride in the community. Happy people are more productive. Is the fountain working? Not at the moment. There's a piping issue. It was nice chatting with you. I'm off to a meeting regarding proper personal equipment in the forge area. Good luck with that. Thank you. It's not easy keeping this fort safe. Hey, Bryn. What are you up to? No, freelancer, I didn't hear you come up. With our beacons back up, I can track the scars around the fort again. The Arcanists seem happy with the info they're getting, too. Hmm. Info about scars that might keep me up at night? They've been trying to avoid details. Some things you just can't unlearn. So, what is it? Oh, right. I'm not used to explaining myself. Ah, I'm trying so many new things lately. <laughs> Slow and steady. I only know part of what the Arcanists have learned, but they say one day it could help to eliminate the scars entirely. Anyway, this means we have more work ahead of us. You and I have made a solid team so far. Keep it up and my superiors might actually give me permission next time. What's life without a few exciting complications? Uh, organized, understandable, calm? Sounds awful. I'll let you know if I need you, Freelancer.
I see you're back from work beyond the wall. What are the chances that Matthias will spend his time writing a paper now? Busy. Check your Excited to get to work? I can't wait to see what's out there. You're back. Wonderful. I get flashes of inspiration whenever we chat. Really? That's good, right? Oh, yes. You know, my mentor had strong feelings about inspiration and the gathering thereof. Inspiration must be seized, Matthias, she'd say. Grab it by the throat and don't let go. Well, she didn't actually say throat, but something else. Philo Ray had no time for propriety. Philo Ray taught you? I've heard she was a brilliant arcanist. And the reason I'm not dead in a ditch. How did you meet? I, uh, uh robbed her. That really was not what I was expecting. She was a fancy lady, I was a street kid, what would you have done? Okay, fine. I probably would have robbed her too. Can you blame me? All I saw was a case full of expensive looking things. I knew they had to be worth something to someone, so I grabbed the case. Shaper relics. I didn't realize the danger. I got lucky, nothing blew up when I took it apart. But Phyla had followed me. It was impossible for an unschooled vagrant to silence a relic, she said. That made her want to teach you? I think so. She never explained. Maybe it was the way I handled the relic. It took her an hour to convince me to go with her. I'd have jumped at the chance. Why didn't you? I didn't trust her. What changed your mind? She sat with me and explained the relics. She told me I could be an arcanist. She was kind. No one had been kind to me in years. She was the first to call me a prodigy. Now I miss her. Anyway, I... You're probably busy. We can talk later. Princess Zim! I've heard so many stories. Was she as fierce as they say? Did you get to experience the splendor of her banquet table? Uh, yeah. Something like that. Super. I was hoping you might stop by. Why? You looking for information? Not at the moment. I thought it would be nice to chat without an agenda. All right, let's talk. Did you know the Corvus is a small, swift bird with black plumage? Thanks for that. I'll remember it the next time I go bird watching. My mistake. Here, I thought you were interested in Corvus. Ah. 
I've heard about Corvus, but you've never talked about yourself. I understand. That's reasonable. Within Corvus, my title is Factor. I'm in charge of all agents near Fort Tarsus. Why'd they choose you? That's classified. But I can tell you I graduated top of my class. Then why are you in Fort Tarsus? I didn't want to be stuck in a soft job back in the capital. I chose this assignment. How far will you go to defeat the Dominion? That? I can't answer. But you do expect me to be part of your solution? Of course. You're an important weapon in our arsenal. Thanks, Tassin. It's good to know I have a place in your arsenal. You're welcome. Now you know a bit about me. Yeah, this was almost nice. Maybe next time you can share a bit about yourself. Yeah, maybe. I'll be in touch. What are we up to today? 